Hello, Namaskar and a very good afternoon to all the viewers watching NCRT's live interactive session. This is Simran Singh and you have all connected with us through eVidya channel number 3. Besides this, you can all connect with us, you can watch and follow our live streams, our live programs on our YouTube channel that you all are well aware of. It is NCRE official. And for this half an hour, students, we have a session of science, uh, basically for all class third students. But the viewers from any other classes, if you have connected with us, this is going to be a very informative and interesting program for all of you. As the topic that we are going to discuss today, it's quite interesting. And the title is, it's raining. So let us know in the comment section of our YouTube channel, uh, is it raining at your place? Or in case, if you are watching this program through television, that is through Evidya channel number 3, then you can always write to us at dth.class3 at the rate ciet.nic.in, that is our mail ID. You can always reach out to us through our contact number flashing on your screens. It is 8800440559. And let me also introduce you to the expert for the program who will be discussing and elaborating more about this topic. We have with us Ms. Manju Pindharkar, ma'am. Namaskar, ma'am. Good afternoon. Namaste. Very good afternoon. We welcome you in the conversation. Uh, ma'am is a PRT teacher and has formerly uh, served at Army Public School, Pune. So, ma'am, uh, without further ado, let's begin our conversation. And the first question that I want to ask you is, is it raining at your place that is in Pune, Maharashtra? For the last several days, we were having very heavy showers and due to it, the atmosphere and the weather in Pune has become so pleasant that you just feel like going out for a car ride or uh, at the outskirts of the city because it's lush green everywhere, curtsy heavy rains. Today, it's pretty uh, cloudy in between. It's sunny also. But uh, the weather is pleasant because it has rained heavily in my city for last few days. And that is what, Simran ma'am, I would like to teach the students of class 3 and all the other students, as you have mentioned, who might be viewing this session, how important it is to have several showers of rain that God has gifted us in a form of monsoon season. The season is still on all over India and we keep hearing that this particular state went through a heavy shower and due to which the consequences also at times very dire consequences due to heavy rains like in the recent past Himachal and Uttarakhand suffered heavily the landslides and other things but mostly in all the other parts of our country India because of the rains it's such a beautiful sight to see and it's water all around. We need to value the basic need that God has created for humans and all the living beings. That is water. We cannot survive. We cannot live even for a day if we do not have water. How important these rains are. So this chapter is extremely interesting, dear students. Let's go little deep into the chapter. Appu ate bananas. Appu is the name of a baby elephant. And the lesson starts with a discussion over Appu's activities. Appu likes bananas so much, he plucks all the bananas from the nearby garden every day. One day, he saw that few banana trees were drooping. And it had not rained before for a long time. So Appu knew that these banana trees were drooping because there was a scarcity of water due to no rains in that particular area. And nobody even bothered to water these banana trees. I must get water in my trunk, said Appu. He started walking towards the river. The river might be flowing very close by. But no human took the initiative of bringing the water from the river or some canal or in some bucket and water these plants. But Appu, the baby elephant, thought of bringing the water with the help of his trunk. He started walking towards the river. Appu drank water 
Till he was happy. He bathed his body with his trunk. Dear students, as you all are aware of, these elephants are very heavy built animals and they feel extremely warm and hot in summer season and they love playing in water. So Appu being a baby elephant, the moment he steps into the river, first he plays with the water. And I'm very sure all the students of class three who are viewing my session must be saying that yes, even we feel like playing in the water. And children, let me tell you, when I was a child, just like you, I also used to play a lot in the ponds, swimming pool, and even in my own bathroom, I used to cover the, the drain with a towel, used to collect the water, make it a pool, and along with my co-sister and other friends of mine, we used to play in that water a lot and we used to simply enjoy our summer holidays. So here, the main character Appu first drank the water till he was happy. Then he had a nice bath and after he cleans his body, he fills the water in his trunk. Then what does he do? Let's go a little ahead. Then he carried water in his trunk and poured it on the banana trees. So sweet of him. He's so concerned about the drooping banana trees and he immediately guesses that the drooping of trees is due to scarcity of water. As soon as the banana trees got water, they came alive. Appu said, from now on, I'll get water for you every day. After all, you also give me ripe and tasty bananas. How nice of Appu, dear students. He is so concerned about the well-being of these trees because he understands, he knows, he realizes that these trees always provide him tasty bananas throughout the year. And it's his duty as well to provide the trees fresh water. And he promises the trees that every day he will fill his trunk with water and he will get the water from the nearby river. How nice of him. And I'm sure children, just like Appu, you should also be responsible. And if you see in your uh, uh, own garden or in the school or any public place that some trees are drooping, some plants are drooping due to extremely hot climate in your area. And while returning home from the school, if your water bottle is still having some water, instead of wasting it and throwing the water in the sink or in the drain, it's better if you pour this water in some needy plants. Simran ma'am, have you ever done this kind of activity where you have seen that some plants are drooping and instead of wasting the water from your water bottle, you have watered the plant instead? Uh, yes, ma'am. And uh, not just as a child, even today when I go back to my home and I see that there are plants who are drooling, uh, I believe that we need to be very much aware and at the same time have immense gratitude for our surroundings. And what I have inferred from the chapter is it not only tells about water conservation, but it also uh, tells us to be more thankful to everything, the surroundings and nature that is around us. How do you feel about it? Very rightly said, Simran ma'am. We all have to be very, very sensitive towards all the living beings all around. If you see that there is a small baby pup, there is a small kitten who might be thirsty. The kitten might not be knowing where the water sources are. But if you have some water left with you and it is of no use to you, instead of wasting it, children, please be sensitive enough to give that water, the remaining water, even to the plants or any baby animal in and around your house. That will be very nice of you. And Appu is setting an example. He is the role model for you all. Now, children, there are some questions in your book. I have given some answer. You can write the answer in your own words and send it across. And I'm very sure through the NCERT official, I'll get these answers. 
the first question in your textbook is how did appu know that the banana trees needed water and the answer that i have selected as the banana trees were drooping and the trees become alive once watered appu understood that the banana trees needed water question 2 from where do the plants growing around your house get water answer most of the plants get water from rain and we also water them let me tell you dear students even i have a balcony garden and a small terrace garden and every now and then i also water my plants depending upon their requirement i even do misting jaise aap nahate hain aur aap khush hote hain even the plants feel so fresh they come alive the moment you water them now the question number 3 is appu drank water from the river till he was happy have you seen animals drinking water and where the answer that i have given is yes i have seen cats dogs and cows drinking water around my house question 4 have you ever given water to any animal if yes which animal yes i have given water to a cow your answer may be yes i have given water to a dog to a cat or even to a horse any even a donkey why not in, there might be some donkeys around your house there might be a horse there might be an ox or a bullock or a cow or a dog or an animal any animal whom you have fed with water your answer should cover that question number 5 some animals are not given water by anyone from where do they drink water that is what i wanted to teach you that there are some animals there might be some baby animals and they do not know any source of water and if it, they are thirsty will you help them well the answer is such animals drink water from ponds lakes and rivers agree some places have ponds lakes and rivers but children like i am living in a society there are no ponds and lakes and rivers near my house but i have seen children of your age when they come back from school their parents encourage many a times i have encouraged my society children to feed these little baby uh, pups of the cats and the dogs so that no one is thirsty on our planet and you read the ma'am uh, before proceeding yes, ahead there is a question if you allow oh sure as ma'am we have this particular story uh, specifically directed for our class 3 students now yes. uh, class 3 students they are quite small and they are little to understand a certain uh, immensely significant topics and one of them is water conservation so uh, being grounded at their level and uh, breaking the complex topic and simplifying it how can students of class 3 uh, they can help in this initiative of um, conserving water in and around their houses and their schools and their surroundings very good answer and very good observation as i have just mentioned that the parents and the seniors in the society or even in public places with whom you never have interacted and with some children whom i have never been even introduced but if i see that somebody is wasting water i try to stop them even while traveling in a train or even on the airports even in a mall or cinema halls many a times i have seen that the tap is open the seniors the teachers the parents the uncle aunties can guide the children to close the tap so that there is no leakage and in case the tap is still getting leaked the water is getting leaked we can at least inform the authorities that there is a tap which is leaking and because of that there is a wastage of water taking place so immediate action can be taken in my society we have allotted this duty to youngsters and even to small children we keep telling them uh, that when they are going for a swimming session in the pool and if they see that somebody is wasting water please inform us so that we can stop this kind of mischief and activity and such kind of activities children can be sensitized about the value of water the proper usage of water simply hope i have been uh, able to give you of a course, right answer ma'am ma 
of course and ma'am uh, i'll also request you to please reflect on the responsibilities of our parents and also our teachers in uh, initiating this uh -huh. good conversation of conservation of the natural resources uh, with our children ma'am the phrase is charity begins at home everything should start from home mother is the first teacher so i expect not only the mother even the father to teach these small uh, soft skills and the values that we need to respect whatever is being provided for example you open the tap and the water is coming isn't that a big privilege yes In many places ma'am i have seen people are still struggling to store the water and use it but if you are that privileged one where you open the tap and the water is coming you should be thanking god for this you should be thanking your parents for it and the parents should also sensitize their children not to waste the water not to have extra bucket of water just to enjoy the shower and many a times in summer season ma'am i have encouraged my own daughters not to use shower because there is lot of wastage of water when you are having bath with the help of shower instead of you store one bucket of water and have the bath it's more than sufficient when there is scarcity this way there are so many method in which parents can teach their children the proper usage of water and the value of water sure ma'am uh, let's proceed ahead in the conversation you read in the story that appu wanted the banana tree watered the banana tree but elephants don't water trees then where do plants get water from plants mostly get water from rain when it rains plants seem to get a new look and children a uh, mother earth absorbs the monsoon water for a long long time mother earth stores the water and survives the remaining year with the help of this storage of water now there is a poem in your textbook let's read the poem the title of the poem is clouds fair and white gray and black the clouds arrive in a magic bag elephants and horses dogs and fawns sometimes they look like a pair of swans in moments they come in moments they go dear children when the clouds are all around first of all the sight is so beautiful many a times the clouds look gray or black or even white and children it is said that when the gray clouds are there and then when they bang on to each other it rains when there are black clouds it is very scary at times but most of the time when there is an open sky when there is a clear sky the clouds at times look very very much white whenever you must have traveled in aeroplane you might have seen white clouds the clouds arrive in magic pack as i told you it's like a magic and uh, it's god's magic for all the living beings living on the mother earth elephants and horses dogs and fawns sometimes they look like a pair of swans children it is an imaginary image that gets formed in the clouds in the sky and it's your imagination also that when you look towards the cloud you might think that it looks like an elephant or a horse or a da dog or a cat or even a flower but they keep changing their shape the clouds are never static children so the image keeps changing that is what the poet is trying to elaborate in moments they come and in moments they go they keep floating they keep moving and that's why the poet says in moments the clouds come and in moment they go and many a times they even shower bless us with a proper shower sometimes they freeze yes and for weeks they stay many a times in monsoon season in hill stations the clouds are it's very cloudy for a weeks and the weather becomes so pleasant and sometimes they disappear for many a day for example if it is very sunny do not appear at all that's the like, see children sometimes they move 
Sometimes they thunder, spreading the colors in a rainbow of wonder. Yes, the poet says, sometimes the clouds give us a lot of shower and in form of rain they pour. Sometimes they thunder, bitchly. For example, thunder and lightning, it's very scary. I'm sure most of you might be getting scared due to thunder, spreading the colors in a rainbow of wonder. I expect you all that uh, you must have seen rainbow and how many colors are there in a rainbow? You have to identify them and even make a rainbow picture. That is coming very soon. I'm going to give you a pictorial activity. At times, they feel from breaking the glass in ringing chimes. Yes, children, the hailstorm looks nice. But it is a bit scary for smaller children. But I have enjoyed the sight of a hailstorm. Pelting the ground. Yes, when they fall on the ground, a sound that they make as if some small stones are uh, falling on the ground. Breaking the glass. Yes, I have seen that if the glass windows and uh, at times the car shields and all also break if the hailstorm is extremely powerful. So it depends. So the poet has elaborated the different shades of cloud, the monsoon season, the rainy season that most of you enjoy. So the Harish Nigam is the, he has uh, translated this and uh, the author is Kristen Edward and the cloud, the poem name is uh, illustrating the different shapes that it, it forms in the sky and you all enjoy. I still enjoy the sight of cloud. Now, children, the poet saw many things in the clouds. Have you ever seen anything in the clouds? What? The questions are already there. I will quickly give the answer. Question one. The poet saw many things in the clouds. Have you ever seen anything in the clouds? What? The answer is yes. I have seen dragon, horse and bird shapes in the clouds. It's all imaginary. You might even see a flower. Question two. What all do the clouds do? And the answer that I have selected is, clouds are formed through evaporated water on condensation. Clouds release water and bring rains. Children, the water that gets evaporated due to the heat in the summer season goes, the, the, because of the heat, the evaporated water goes up, condenses and forms clouds. And when these clouds bang onto each other, the clouds release water and bring back the water in form of rain. This is the water cycle. Question three, have you ever seen a rainbow? When can you see a rainbow? Yes, I have seen rainbows twice. Rainbows can be seen when sun rays from behind on raindrops fall on from behind on the raindrops. And I have given you a very cute picture of rainbow. You can make the replica of this picture, the image in your classwork notebook. Question four, how do you feel when it rains? I feel extremely happy when it rains. And Simran ma'am, I'm sure the same answer you will also give. And of course ma'am, uh, not only just human beings, uh, we see that there are also animals, the different species who come out and they actually uh, sort of enjoy the rain and one of them is peacock. We Absolutely. all know that peacock, uh, they do the dance during the rainy oh, season. Oh, yes. And what a beautiful sight it is. Now, question five. Apart from clouds, what do you see when it rains? When it rains, it usually is accompanied with thunder, lightning and strong winds. Question six. What happens when it rains? When it rains, the weather becomes very cold. The sky gets dark. Earth releases. Uh, different uh, smells and soothing fragrances. Question 7. When it rains, making paper boats and floating them on water is really fun, isn't it? Yes, it is so much fun and I'm sure all the children of class 3 will be doing this. Now children, here is a very interesting activity that I expect you all to do. Make a paper boat and float it on water. Have you had any problems during rains? Have you seen anyone else having any problems due to rains? Yes, many a times people fall sick and uh, their uh, clothes get drenched, the cl clothes don't dry fast, all these problems people face. And in picture of your experience, you have to showcase 
two types of uh, expression. First is somebody who's very happy, somebody who's not liking rains. Can be, and you have to give reason also. When it rains, some are happy, some are sad. If you are happy, give some reason why you feel happy. If you are sad due to extensive rains, you have to give reason for that alway also. So children, with this, we come to an end of this chapter. I will quickly wrap up the chapter in uh, small words, my own words and simple words. Children, the chapter is giving you the value of using the water judicially. You have to use the water extremely properly. If you see a tap in the school getting leaked, inform your class teacher. If you have some leftover water in your water bottle while returning from your uh, school back to home, and if you see that some trees are drooping, some animal is thirsty, you can give the water to these needy because they cannot speak. They cannot tell you that they are thirsty. And plants do not even have the power to convey. Like animals at least can convey. But plants do not. They droop. So in the chapter, the main character, Apu, what he does, he brings water in his trunk and waters yes, the banana tree. So That's, this is the gist of the lesson and the moral is use and value water. That's a wonderful concept that you have brought through this platform and shared with all our viewers. Thank you so much for connecting with us and sharing a few flowers with us from your bouquet of knowledge. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you to all the viewers for connecting with us in this particular live segment of EVS. I am pretty sure that you have enjoyed this particular conversation and the story about Apu. Was it amazing? Did you actually like it? Because I really liked it. And viewers, before wrapping up this conversation, here is an important piece of information for all of you regarding the availability of NCRT textbooks. So as you all know that NCRT textbooks for the academic year 2023 to 2024, they are available all across the country and you may purchase them directly from the different sales counters of NCRT. Also, you can place an order online for these particular textbooks through the website link flashing on your screens. In case, if you would like to download the PDF or the soft copy version of NCRT textbooks in their different mediums, one of them is Diksha platform, another one is ePartshala website and also NCRT's mobile application. In order to explore more about it, feel free to connect with us and also explore the website of NCRT that is www.ncrt.nic.in. Do not go anywhere because next up we have our session of English for all our class 3rd students. And you know the topic that we are going to discuss Again, it's an interesting conversation because for the next half an hour, we will be discussing about the poem that is titled as Trains. So, let's see what is the journey and uh, what do we uncover in the next program. So, keep watching Evidya channels. Namaskar.